Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today. We are delighted to have our Power Platform team, Savannah Dill and Ben Lane, and they will be presenting on our favorite new features in Power Platform 2022 Wave 1. And as a reminder, we are recording this webinar and we will post it to our on-demand webinar library for you to review again or share with anyone. And you can find our library under our resources tab on our website at Innovia.com. And we do encourage you to ask questions during our presentation, so please feel free to type them into the questions box and we will answer them at the end of our session. So now I'm going to turn it over to Savannah to kick off the presentation. Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to our webinar. Uh, the first thing we will talk about is uh, some brief introductions. My name is Savannah Dill. I am Power Platform Consultant at Anovia. I have been at Anovia now for almost a year and kind of have my hands in everything Power Platform, including uh, Power Apps, Power BI, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. And if any time you would like to contact me, you should see my contact information now on screen or feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. My name is Ben Lane and I'm also a Power Platform Consultant and I've also been at Inovia for just about a year now. I work with Power BI, Power Apps and Power Automate. And if you have any additional questions or would like more information, you can see my contact information right there as well. Feel free to call me or email me. The first thing we are going to talk about is give a brief background on what the Power Platform is and the components of it. Microsoft, oops, sorry. <laughs> Uh, the first thing we were, would like to talk about is the Microsoft Stack. Uh, the Microsoft Stack is a set of applications and tools that are designed to work together from the back end database to coding languages and development environments, all the way up to platforms and applications like LinkedIn, Microsoft Office 365, and business applications like uh, Business Central, and then the Power Platform. The Microsoft Stack is built on the foundation of Microsoft Azure, so your data stays secure um, and compliant. I will take a look at some of the specific tools that we use that might also work in your case. This is the Power Platform. Uh, stack right here. The Power BI, as we discussed, is the business analytics side. You can visualize your data, build insights, and connect to multiple data sources. Power Apps allows non-developers to build apps that can be used on the web or on mobile, and this also connects to a wide range of data sources. Power Automate is all about automation. You can build logic-based rules with conditions and actions, um, and this, these flows can also be automatic or triggered. Power Virtual Agents are logic-based chatbots that you can build to use in websites or within a Dynamics app. The new April 2022 Wave 1 release includes a lot of new features that make the Power Platform better than ever. Here's a few of our favorites. Power BI is a collection of software services, apps, and connectors that work together to run your unrelated sources of data into coherent, visually immersive, and interactive insights. This data can come from an Excel spreadsheet or a collection of cloud-based and or on-premises hybrid data warehouses. Power BI lets you easily connect to your data sources, visualize and discover what's important, and share that with anyone or everyone that you want. Power BI consists of uh, three main elements and they all work together. A Windows desktop application called Power BI Desktop, 
an online SaaS service called the Power BI service and Power BI mobile apps for Windows, iOS, and Android devices. One of our favorite new features within Power BI is the ability to use natural language to develop quick measures. Traditionally, Power BI would require at least a basic knowledge of DAX computing language. Our favorite new feature is now the ability to create quick measures using natural language rather than DAX. So you can see in the picture, it allows you to input what you're trying to calculate simply based on natural language, such as what is the rolling 28-day average of sales? And Power BI will generate and provide suggested DAX code that will make that calculation. This is convenient for those with less DAX experience, but I've also found that it comes in handy uh, for an experienced or seasoned user because in a pinch you can put in natural language and at least get an idea from Power BI as to where you can start to develop those formulas and measures. Another great new feature is the Power BI app experience in Teams. This new feature brings Power BI reports to a convenient and easy to locate place with the click of your mouse. This new feature will also bring support for all content types and allow multitasking through, throughout the app. The Power BI app in Microsoft Teams is one of the ways that you can collaborate with Power BI and Teams. The app is your personal experience of Power BI. It's as if the Power BI service is living inside uh, Microsoft Teams. After you install it, you can do almost everything in Microsoft Teams that you can do in the Power BI service, including create, view, and edit dashboards, reports, and apps, create and participate in workspaces, or share content either through email or through Microsoft Teams. To begin using this new and exciting feature, you must ensure that the Power BI app is enabled in the Teams Admin Center apps list, and then you can pin it to the left side navigation bar. Then you will need to sign in with your Microsoft Power BI credentials. It is important to note if you are a Power BI for a user um, or that you just use the desktop app, you can access personal analytics, including the built-in Teams analytics report, and also create reports uh, in their My Workspace through Microsoft Teams. And any users with a Power BI Pro or premium license, um, you are free to have access to any reports that you have created uh, or shared. Moving on to our favorite features in Power Apps, just to kind of reiterate, Power Apps uh, are mostly for low code uh, citizens who don't really have a background in coding, but Power Apps enables them to build apps for mobile and web. The first new Power Apps feature that is rather exciting is the Power Apps desktop application. With Power Apps for Windows, you can work with your business data from anywhere. You can also automate tasks to help users get more work accomplished quickly. Users can run custom apps that are shared with them or build apps for themselves using this new feature. The desktop application allows for users to create Canvas or model-driven apps. Canvas apps are those that can be ran on your phone or tablet and allow for the Power App Maker to build a fully customizable app. A model-driven app is more data-focused and sends the user through a predetermined order of data entry. This is very cool because uh, like Power BI, it kind of opens the door a bit um, for app creation with the most exciting feature being this is supported for offline mode. So you can virtually create apps anywhere you go, online or offline, uh, with the ability to sync 
if you are offline, um, to kind of get everything back up to speed. Uh, this Power Apps uh, desktop app also works with Power Apps mobile application for iOS and Android. Our next uh, Power Apps oriented feature would be creating um, column calculations using Power FX. Microsoft Power FX is the low code language for expressing logic across the Microsoft Power Platform. It is the same language that is the, at the heart of Microsoft Power Apps Canvas apps today, and it is inspired by Microsoft Excel. So if you are great with Microsoft uh, Excel functions, you are likely to excel at Power FX. It is said that Power FX will soon be extended for use across Power Platform into Microsoft Dataverse, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents, and even going beyond. This feature allows um, the user to create columns quickly using Power FX, and it allows the app maker to pick up where existing Microsoft Dataverse calculated columns and rollups left off. With this feature, the Power FX formula bar has been directly integrated into the column settings, much like Power BI, if you're familiar with that. This makes it easy to see and edit the columns formula directly without needing to save or open another window. Power FX is pretty intuitive and adds many more functions and enables the user to make their data set richer um to support the vision that is in the works power automate is an application to automate business processes you can also send automatic reminders for past due tasks move business data between systems on a schedule. It allows you to connect to more than 500 data sources or any publicly available API. You can even automate tasks on your local computer like computing data within Excel. Our first favorite new feature is that you're able to resubmit multiple failed runs at, ones at, runs at once. It's traditionally been a bit inconvenient and time consuming with having to select, manually select and resubmit failed runs individually. This new feature allows you to select multiple runs or all of the runs and submit them at the same time. Undo is another new great feature. I'm sure you've all accidentally deleted or added a step while building an automated flow. And this new feature allows you to undo or redo uh, quickly without having to start from scratch and rebuild the entire step over again. Another new feature is similar to being able to use the natural language for DAX within Power BI. And this continues to make it easier than ever to build Power Platform solutions with little coding experience. This allows you to switch between a basic and advanced mode to see the OData syntax that is behind a filter that you're adding within the OData editor. And this makes it easier than ever to filter items without coding experience. Alrighty, now that we have kind of gone over uh, all of our uh, new favorite features, um, I would like to reiterate that this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg as far as the new features go. If you would like to learn more about the new and exciting features with Power Platform, um, you can easily find the Wave 1 release on Microsoft's website, and there you will be able to 
explore all of the uh, new features and things coming. And um, now I would just like to thank everyone for attending. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. If there are currently no questions um, and you think of one later, feel free to either reach out to Ben or I. All right, well, thank you, Savannah and Ben. It doesn't look like any questions have come through yet, but uh, like Savannah said, if you guys have any questions later, or if you wanna share it with other colleagues who are interested in this topic, and you come up with some questions, feel free to reach out to Savannah or Ben or your account manager here at Anovia Consulting. So I just wanna thank everyone for attending and let you know that we do have more webinars coming up and you can find out more about those events at innovia.com slash events. And we do have more training workshops coming up. Uh, Savannah has one coming up in August. So if you want to take a look at that and get signed up for that training workshop. And we also have our Innovia podcast conversation. We have a library of podcast episodes for you to listen to. And you can learn more about our podcast page, and that's at novia.com slash podcast. So browse through that selection and subscribe so you'll get notified when those new episodes air. And don't forget about our customer conference. It's just a few short weeks away. Our customer conference is on May 4th and 5th at the University of Notre Dame. This is a free event for you to attend, so make sure you read up on all the details and register today so you can come meet our team our ISV partners, and clients. All right, well, we thank you again for attending, and we look forward to seeing you soon at another Anovia webinar. Take care, everyone.